Come on, guys. Let's go home. You thought? Shit. Shit. But you had to fix what he was going to say at first. Yo, what's going on, you guys? This is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer, here with my lovely wife, Jenna Lee, on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Seen the Reactions, the place where we react to everything we've never seen. And today we're going green for some more TMNT 2003 reaction. Last time we left off, man, we got an introduction between Casey Jones and Master Splinter because they weren't formally introduced yet. You know, Splinter heard a little bit about a so-called vigilante, but he didn't quite meet him. And unfortunately, you know, during the process of trying to show the Turtle Bros how to have a little balance in their life uh, by way of uh, being on some damn thin-ass bamboo sticks, Casey Jones thought it would be a proper idea to just barge right in without calling or knocking. You know, uh, this dude, he is just another level, you know what I'm saying? There's good, there's bad, and then there's Casey Jones. You know, and you get both of those things and you put it with him and that's always a problem. You know, but he came to show the Turtle Bros that somebody in the neighborhood don't like them. You know, they was going around spraying graffiti all over the wall, which just so happened to be some turtle shish kebabs. You know, I guess they got a good taste for some of that, you know. And they were saying that they was going to put the turtles on some shish kebabs if they don't stop fucking up stuff that Shredder got going on. And, um... I think we also got a chance to see Shredder talking to Han and Baxter Stockman, which you say this is your favorite iteration of Baxter because he be having no clapbacks and he be talking shit. He don't give a damn. He's not some little fly. You just gonna tell him what to do, okay? He gonna tell you. Right. Okay, or, you know, you might cut his eyeball off, but he don't care about that. Yeah, yeah, that's like, that's gonna probably be a running gag. Anytime this dude fail, you gonna come up with something fucked up. Uh, a missing leg, a missing eye. A, a missing fucked up haircut. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna have some little claw marks exactly. on the side of his shit. Right. By that damn Bobby Brown. Shit, this shit gonna be looking worse than that. Right, but uh, I think he uh, manufactured some kind of special suit for the Foot Clan. Um, that he tried to. Yeah, he made them, like, it had, like, invisibility cloaks and, I guess, bionic strength enhancers and stuff like that. And somehow, Raph ended up getting kidnapped and they was trying to do some kind of surgery on Raph. And, but he sprayed hun in the face of some laughing gas or some shit like that and he was getting out i did like how ralph was clapping back at hun he was like so where did you get this weapon and ralph was like yo mama nigga you know mm -hmm. <laughs> i like yeah. that and the other episode it was all right you know i felt like that was more of like a fluff filler episode uh, revolving this girl named angel who casey knew around the neighborhood he was trying to stop her from getting in there it was, she was like a psa type of episode i think right like, stop it Okay? Get some mutagen. Don't be out here joining the gang. Okay. Yeah, we got a chance to see the turtles up in their little hip hop get ups, too. Like, I don't think I was missing was a so so death chain. So, yeah, man. Uh, pretty good episodes. We've been enjoying the heck out of them. And let's see if they're going to keep that consistency up, man. Because so far, it's been very good. So, we're going to go ahead and jump into this next episode. I wasn't doing why? What you want to say? Because usually you don't be he, having nothing to say, don't you guys? I was going to say... He, you hate this part. So why should you It don't you even talk? matter. Go ahead. No, no go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead go and say ahead. what you got to say. No, no. Say it. No, you keep it hard to me. Say no. Say. No. Uh, anyways, guys, uh, let's go ahead and jump to this next episode, which is episode nine, titled Garbage Man. That's it for this gold mine. Goddamn Randolph and Mortimer. <laughs> Yes, that's Nancy Reagan now. No loiterers. Move. <laughs> they gotta scream first before they take off running. What do they be reaching out for when they run like that? Oh, the trash man is trying to get these people. I thought he was just trying to get the trash. That is the trash. Damn. Oops. Mm -hmm. Hey, Doc, you don't want something that's so gross you don't want to touch it, right? If it's going to improve the lair, we can use it. Why is it Mikey? It's not <laughs> Why? Hey. Would you rather have Mikey happy or Mikey bored? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> it is nice to see, like, Donnie going on this little shopping spree. Hey, thanks for the shopping cart, guys. 
Hope you found some useful items. Amid the refuse, my green amphibious friend. Hey, are there fewer of you here than usual? A lot of guys got missing lately. Plus, it's weird. They don't take their stuff. Yup. I have a theory about that. Another one? There has been talk of a terrifying figure who takes us away in the dead of night. His name is Whispered in Fear. They call him the Garbage Man. <laughs> you almost had me going there, the Garbage Man. Jeez. Right. Somebody's been watching too much Hey Arnold. Listen to these urban legends. Let me know if your friends show up, or if anyone else disappears. We know this guy's gonna survive because we see him in John Wick, right? That's exactly that what I thought weak. that looked like. Right? True? Hey, whatever it is, the professor was worried. Lawrence Fishburne in John Wick. Seriously, huh? Are you angry, John Wick? What? Yeah. This time continuum is my word. Oh shit! Oh, run, fools! They done bust through the damn homeless encampment. I guess he said his knees too bad to be trying to take off running. Everything must go. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you shall not have me, you behemoth! Behemoth! Leviathan! Monstrosity! Keep going, man. Leviathan! I just, I think I saw a tear come out of its exhaust pipe. It hurt its feelings. Swerving All I know on. is something attacked them. It was really big and really dangerous. Hope they're okay. Don, can you run an internet search for police reports? Already checked. Nothing on missing homeless. We need to hit the streets. It's trench coat wearing time. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Hey, I tried to <laughs> reference it. Oh, it is trench coat wearing time. Trying to walk down the street, finna go and rip the beat. I'm trying to beat the heat while I'm wearing these hot coats. But this dude is sitting right here with a tin can with some flame. Oh. Try to rush to hurry up with the beat, but it. Uh, he failed. Have you got anything, John? Virtually everyone we talked to knew someone who had disappeared. I programmed in a marker for each one. Whoa! Looks like all the action's down by the docks. Well, then that's our next stop. Streets of Rage, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles edition. Somebody explain why it's always me who's the bait. Every <laughs> show is. No matter which show. It don't matter which iteration, he is always the bait. Nothing's happening. Let's call it a night. Come back, Mikey. We're out of here. <laughs> oh shit, did somebody say homeless? Uh, guys, the shark is here. <laughs> and he's coming to clean from Jaws. He's... If you can knock it over. Oh shit. <laughs> they told you. Garbage man drives a garbage truck. What's the problem, Rat? What you talking? He's making a run for it. Hit it, Rat. I'm punching it. Sorry about the girl. What are you screaming for? <laughs> right. I don't know about you guys, but I've had enough of this. Go ahead and press them buttons. Ooh. Got the super turbo mega ultra ultra? You like that? You're gonna love this. May I be my guest? Hell yeah, man. The trash and the furious. Or slick anybody? It's the same ingredients they use in wave grease. Better put some darn dish soap on it. Oh, if you guys forgot what we had for dinner, I think I'm about to remind you. Hey. Oh shit. Please simply y'all got some bags. Oh. Okay. 
Yeah, he all about that aquatic life, I see. Yeah, we like it. Not sure yet. What you get is what you see. Hell yeah. You know, seriously, you're only embarrassing yourself. <laughs> I like it, man. I can dig it. Let's see who crawls out of this thing. I got a few things to discuss with him. What the shell? Wonder how many kids got in trouble saying that. <laughs> what with the shell? I don't know. That is a good excuse, a good little way to play off the cuss word. It's quiet. Maybe too quiet. Now see. How does Leo make that line work? And not right. Let's go. He's using the lame one with lines. <laughs> Who's that, Mikey? Me. This nigga. Oh, this is the scene. Better watch out. Stay back right. Better not fight, I'm telling you what. The turtles are coming to the landfill. <laughs> I knew it, they was capturing the homeless people forcing them to work. <laughs> Damn. It's like, are they gonna get paid for this? Wow. This is making You can at least pay him something. A sandwich or something, man. Hell no, I need more of a sandwich. I can make that myself. Pack of cigarettes, you know what these homeless people like. Oh wow. So this thing is forcing them to make waxing grease for them. They didn't go down this little party slide. <laughs> wow. Hold on, Rat. Look. Who is it? Oh wow. What the fuck? So he too damn lazy to work himself, so he gotta steal homeless people. It's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Just oh, this once, you. I totally agree with you. The neck beard. Well, I brought you to this island. You are nothing but human garbage. I'd rather be a free man living on the streets than a slave in your stinking empire. Mm. Period. I gotta get back to the streets, Daddy O. I gotta get the name of this producer. Where the fuck did he get that? He had it hidden under his shell. <laughs> Cole Porters! Here we go. <laughs> clink, clink, clink. Are you alright? Oh, never felt better, Doctor. Well, it looks like you're not going to be able to do that. Oh, it's winter. Oh, yeah, pull his ass down. I'm this opportunity to encourage you to kick that so called garbage man's stinking derriere. You know what you want to say, OG. You can say it. You are a free, you know who my man Don Carl, whatever that dude's name. Yeah, the yeah. mafia dude. That's what I thought it was at first. What? Uh, how about time to dump you in the dumpster, smelly boy? Hey. You shut up. <laughs> uh oh, claw fool. <laughs> this guy must be a gamer. I better run. Better do it. Ew, that's probably his own personal disposal of waste. He probably don't do nothing but sit in that damn chair all day. Right? You need to turn that fire on yourself. That might get some of the germs off. Yeah. Can we finish this? Hey, dude, you gotta hit the showers. I will recycle every one of you into the ground. Hey, garbage brain. If you fight as bad as you smell, we are in trouble. <laughs> I told you to shut up. 
Why don't you make me? There's no place to run. Hell shit, we can hijack this shit. Hot wire. Come on now. I ain't got no ninja stars? Thing, oh shit. Be recycled. Look out, garbage freak. There you go. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck he was able to do that, but okay. Put it in reverse, go Terry. Go ahead. Put it in reverse. Now you can finally the bath you've been needing this whole time. Right. <laughs> Throw a bar of orange spring sure soap down swim. there. We gotta do something. No. I knew you were gonna say that. Now y'all know damn well if this is Mariah's comics, y'all would have did all this. It's like, does he even have legs in that thing? They're already gone. No sign of him here. <laughs> He's gone. Hopefully he went to the trash where he needs to be. He probably went to go take a shit. What's up, Professor? We voted to stay here. There's food and shelter. The garbage man was right about one thing. People do throw away a lot of valuable items. Watch out for him. Something that evil always comes back. <laughs> now see, that worked. How do you come up with this? Quit recycling the old ones, Mikey. Keep looking for something new. I feel like we're gonna get some kind of PSA. <laughs> Now, kids, make sure that you don't try to grab random pedestrians and homeless people because there are other things that you can grab, like that little litter over there, or that empty plastic bottle, or that used condom. <laughs> but guys, that was episode, what was that, episode nine, Garbage Man, and this, I guess that's his name, Garbage Man. The garbage Man, he just right. looks like garbage, he smell like garbage, he act like garbage, he's just garbage. For real, man, one nation under a funk and garbage. Yeah, that guy reminded me of Don, was it Leoso or Cuff? I, I forgot his name. I don't remember. Count Cagley, I'm sure. Vizioso? Oh, think. yeah. Uh, Vizioso, something like that. Uh, shit. He sounded like a VCR. Vizioso. He, <laughs> or a TV Vizio. Uh, tubby dude in some sort of chair thing that he can roll around in, or in Don Vizioso's case, fly around in. Right. Um, Commanding everybody to do something that he don't even want to get up and do. Yeah. Calling everybody creeps and freaks and weirdos while he's sitting there with drool hanging out his mouth and fucking dirt all over the place like ugh. what if these guys know that they ain't no better they ain't shit but they just insult others just to add insult to injury it was like man i feel ashamed that you calling me that of all people your ass probably can't even get out of this thing with that little muffin top hanging out he got out of it somehow yeah, he did, or he, yeah, that, I guess that's a sign that, oh, this is a to-be-continued thing, well, you know, it's like something the garbage will man will return, like right. And now they already on Garbage Island, so we ain't even gotta go capture them now. I know, man. I, I do like how these characters are, you know what I'm saying, like, you see characters that are resourceful and stuff like that, you know Dunny, he gonna do what he gotta do in order to create his gadgets, but to see this guy who was, I guess, just chilling in garbage and... He decided to make a big garbage truck, which I'm pretty sure was just like an old garbage truck that he pimped out. You know, that's, that's pretty cool. You know, I'm pretty sure our minds would have been blown even more had we not seen uh, the 2012 TMNT and all these other iterations that have done pretty similar things, you know. So I guess this is the precursor to that. And this might be a character from the comics, you know, since it is like following the Mirage comics. So uh, yeah, um, overall, I get this episode would say A plus, but I feel like I want to get that one an S too. I'm gonna give it an A plus. Yeah. So there you guys have it, an A plus and an S. So uh, we're not gonna hold y'all. We're gonna jump into the next episode, which is episode ten, Shredder Strikes Part One. Damn, this nigga got a two part of ass whoopings. Let's do this. Splinter is constantly telling us that when given two choices, you gotta take the ass whooping or run. 
But somehow, when you're a teenage mm -hmm. little ninja turtle, the harder path always seems to choose you. Mm. Niggas! They gotta put that on there. I don't know why they gotta put that on there. That shit is hilarious. Bruh. Yeah. You know what I like best about weapons practice? The weapons. Mm. Shit, like this, nigga. Too bad you're stuck with those lame toothpicks and not a real weapon like the nunchucks. Oh, I'm sorry, Mikey, but the bow staff is where it's at. He ain't lying. He's always the best in video games. Double Katana is the only way to play. Katana Roma? Double Katana? Pretty sweet, huh? Pretty nice sweet. one, Leo. Uh, lucky. <laughs> Not so lucky for my tail. It just got kicked. Well, thought, Leonardo. Thank you, Sensei. You have won. But do you know why? Well, I have the superior weapons. I read where Swordmaster Musashi said the katana blade holds the soul of steel and is the truest guide to the warrior's way, mm. which is kind of how I feel. Many things are said, but few are true. Mm -mm. Huh? Master Splinter's got that look. I think <laughs> somebody's gonna get it. Can get his ass whooped. Michelangelo. <gasps> Do you think I am funny? <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, sometimes. This Remember that dude. time you told that joke about the ox and the sparrow? It wasn't really a joke, but it was funny and... Ooh. Lord. Leonardo, attack me with your katana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh shit, we know how this goes. Right? Yeah, I'm gonna see him do that shit. People are gonna wonder if all we. Is this the great and glorious weapon of which you speak? Helpless before an old rat such as myself? Again, with both. Now you know you're a radical rat since so you ain't give yourself enough credit. Oof, look at the wrist. In the hands of a true ninjutsu master, anything can be a deadly weapon. Mm. Until you have learned this lesson, you Rise will learn is the, nothing. Is yeah, he's pretty cool. At first, I thought it would still be 2012 Splinter, but after I seeing don't Arthur, get it. it's definitely Rise. What haven't I learned? My skills the best it's ever been. Get the hat. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my god, chill, bro. Yeah, see, it's dark. just doesn't understand how important these swords are to me. You about to understand this arrow in your ass. Right? Can't help me in everything, you know. So you can't be Ichiban Turtle and everything. Who's that, Ralph? Oh. Instant message. It's not your regular mail. I guess Mikey would call it air mail. <laughs> Warrior, if you are reading this note, you have passed the first test. I call upon you as a point of honor to meet with me. If you follow the way of Bushido, you don't will come. Don't for real. You will come alone. He gonna fall for it. Sixteen South Boyle. That's not far. Boy, you gonna get over the sixteen South Boyle? I guess he gotta prove himself. Man. <laughs> Leo's been acting funny all day. And I don't mean ha ha funny. I mean funny funny. It's not like him to go off like this. Yeah, he's acting like me. Ooh. Right? Hello? What? what up, Turtle? Welcome to my crib. <laughs> oh, gee, it was a trap. I got it beat Cammy like, nigga, where you going? 13 to 1. That seems pretty unfair. Right, I mean, that's only a, 13 of them. a whole K-pop band. Let's see what this is. <laughs> Show us how cool your weapon is. Uh oh, okay. Bounce back. Okay. Cut through them like butter. <laughs> impressive. Very impressive. My agent said you were good, but their description doesn't do you justice. Why is he a shape like Usher's? I am a Rokusaki, the generation master of ninjutsu. You're 
appearance is very striking. It's it's not a costume, although I know that's hard to believe. <laughs> Much easier to believe than you might imagine. I have seen enough of this world to expect the extraordinary, and you are extraordinary. Then I take it you sent me this. Yes, I felt it was urgent that we meet. There are things you need to know. There are definitely things I need to know. Like why these ninjas, your ninjas, have been trying to break our heads for months now. <laughs> that is exactly why we need to talk. We have been fighting each other when we should actually be on the same side, fighting against our true enemy. Right, you must be my ninja. To prove that you guys are the true enemy. There is a force, a corrupt and evil force that is out there right now, Who? working its insidious tentacles into every aspect of his eyebrows moving when he talks. An organization right. devoted evil to force. power through crime, right. political manipulation, corruption on a global just... level. Whoa. What's he saying? Something about onions. <laughs> or maybe and sausage in a deep dish crust. What? It's hard to hear, and I'm hungry. This dude. sword has been in my family for 300 years. No. It was crafted by the master Toshi Kurahara in the 16th century. It is said that Yeah, you can Toshi Kura keep that. Kurahara okay, because I don't need it. over 700 times to remove any impurities. Hmm. Yes, you are impressive. Got to. It is for you to keep. No, I take it. I wish you to have it as a token of my sincerity. Alright, you take that sword back to the crib. You know Splinter is gonna have a fit. He is leaving now. We'd better report this back to the council. For the Jedi Council? Yes. Oh, these motherfuckers. One of the turtles, Leonardo, has spoken with Saki, but we do not know the outcome. Oh, this is the crime. The yeah. Do. If they are with Saki, we may be forced to destroy them. Mm -mm. They need to have a trio like that. That's who it was he was talking about. We need to band together. Right. This is beautiful. Yes. yes. You have some explaining to do. <laughs> nice letter opener. Is that the price of selling out these days? It's not like Y'all ain't gotta say shit about selling out. Y'all was. With them? No. I mean. Yes, We've seen coming out of our shells. They're not the enemy. At least I don't think they are. Everything Master Saki said. Master Saki, what's up with that? I thought we already had a master. I thought master we didn't drink. Winter? Remember him, Leo? Real hairy guy about this tall. I don't think we can just ditch him. What's this thing got? Some sort of mind control device in it? Probably. You should lose it, Leo. <laughs> hey, give that back, Raph. Oh, you can just keep one of your new pals to get another one. Alright, fight, yeah, fight, yeah, fight! He fight. don't care, he just be ready to be his brother now. Oh, I didn't see that coming. For real, did anybody grab any popcorn or bring some chips and dip? He's gonna fall! Rap, no! Rap! <laughs> and you thought Katana would have messed with you This nigga, that's all he wanted to do. Such an idiot. You could have been really hurt. Yeah. Good thing I got my trusty toothpicks. I don't hurt that easily, sword boy. My sons, I had hoped this day would never come. I know who these people are. I have always known. This is the symbol of the Foot Ninja. Their leader is Oroko Saki, but he has another name. He is the Shredder. My master was a ninja of great power. Hey, one sorry. of the greatest practitioners of ninjutsu in many centuries. Oh, <laughs> get it? His pet rat. Hey. And I learned ninjutsu by mimicking his moves. I was always confused by this shit. I was happy. I ain't never seen no rat do that. It's like, was he already mutated? If he was able to do that shit? Damn, how old is Han? When the Shredder sent his to attack my master. I guess this would be like 16 years ago or something. Why they, I don't know why they make it seem so old with these filters and shit. But through their dishonorable ways, the foot ninja overpowered him. And electrocuted his ass. Right? I thought I told you it was nerf or nothing, fool. Then the shredder entered. They wanted information. Whoa. 
they were relentless. But my master only said one thing. Fuck you. Who lives without honor will end without honor. This is a waste of time. Finish him. Hurry up, sir. Just my soul. Oh, it's him. I thought Shredder did that to him. I did not want you to feel the sorrow that is still in my heart. But now, you need to know who Saki, the Shredder, really is. Any endeavor he undertakes, he does for his own selfish gain. Hmm. Man, I am such an idiot. Yes. Oh, I yes. told you that. Damn. Damn. <laughs> you come Wait, what boy, look who's talking. So what are we gonna do about it? Shredder wants an answer? I think we should give him one. Nigga, what you got? Tell your boss the answer is no. And he can have his sword back. Bitch. <laughs> That's funny. That was a good girl. Let's dance. Hell yeah, you know we look more badass in the rain, so let's get it. Drums. Playing on foots too. But they're also good for giving a leg up to a fellow turtle. Hey. You said it, brother. But a bow staff certainly comes in handy when a teenage turtle finds himself in the middle of a circle of angry, ugly, and ninjas. All right. Not him again. We beat him before. We can do it again. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this rematch. Play it if you've got the guts. Okay. Big boy, he got size and speed. Yeah. He ain't even gonna lay with it easily. Who you think will win out of 2012 in this home? We done seen this one way more, actually. I wanted to say 2012, but I kind of have to say this one because we've seen him way more in just eight episodes. I know, but you know, we ain't seen him just do a lot of fights, though. We've seen him do a lot of beating. Why he look like he on uh, the set of fucking Hell's Kitchen with that outfit on? Right. Oh, shit, Leo. Come on now. No, Leo! Get back! <laughs> Get back! <laughs> Funny you struck by lightning. Get him, get him! Hell yeah. Get him! <laughs> Chris Bradford's 2012 house. That was not easy. That was it, yeah, bro. Thanks, Rap. Okay, so Shredder ain't been seen yet in his armor then. Could y'all try not to look so conspicuous? Council members, it appears the turtles are against him. Good. Yet it remains to be seen if the enemy of our enemy is our friend. Come on, guys. Let's go home. You thought? Shit! Shit! you had to fix what he was going to say at first. Hmm? Those who are not with me are against me. And I crush anyone who stands against you me. Now. Yo! Why should I sound like a preacher, y'all? Anybody who stands against me or not with me, can I get a witness? You know, that's how he sound. Reverend Saki, man. For real. Reverend? Goddamn Saki. I know it was the blood of the turtles on my clothes. The Lord sent them down for me. But uh, yeah, man, that was very good. I, I just like the different themes on here, man. Like the music is really something that I've been enjoying. Mm -hmm. You know, you just getting down the walls and Yeah, I love that. Bang on the go thing. You know, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it is so good and catchy, man. And they just keep on coming with all the different beats. I gotta figure out if they got like a soundtrack to this, y'all. But mm -mm. nonetheless, I do like. How like each turtle is getting their own little, you know, character arc and stuff like that. We see that Leo, even though he has all the tools of the trade, he's still determined to become a better version of himself. And, you know, especially Splinter, I feel like that's gonna be that that level that he wants to surpass, you know, because Splinter 
He is such a skillful ninja and he just knows the ins and outs of each turtle brother and how to, you know, expose their flaws. And Leo, he just ain't feeling that shit. So it's understandable. You know, I kind of want to see that version of Leo, you know. We've gotten that in um, TMNT 2012, but not necessarily against Splinter himself, you know. So it's cool to see him searching for answers and I almost become like a mentor or a mentee to um, Shredder, you know, or Roku Saki. What did you think about that? Or this episode in general? That was pretty great, Bob. Do you want to continue what you're going to say? Because you had a lot to say earlier. No, did I interrupt it? No. no. Okay, who's Bob? You want to let you? us know? I'm not Bob. You always call me Bob every time I ask you something. <laughs> I just see it. You're like, it's pretty great, something. Bob. And I'm like, no, you get to be Bob today. Yeah, but like, I'm excited to see where this is going to go. Because anytime we on a rooftop, it's dark or it's raining, you can bet Shredder is going to get in some ass. Like, I already know this nigga going to be ruthless. Hopefully, they show like him. Well, they already show him impale somebody in 2012. I don't know if they're going to do it on here. You know, they be doing them little flashes and stuff anytime mm -hmm. somebody get cut or they just show him getting knocked back. As if getting hit with a blade is going to knock you back. I mean, you going to get impaled with that shit. So, yeah, hopefully we see some some gore like actual contact with the blades and stuff you know but uh that's just me overall i give this episode an s I'll do it in a no but uh that's gonna do it for us today guys we hope you enjoyed this reaction because as always we have a blast reacting to these things with you and for you you if there's anything we may have missed or got misconstrued, by all means, provide the proper context in the comment section below. Or you can just tell us what you liked about the episode. You know, do that. Y'all be doing all kind of stuff anyway. We probably be flipping and stuff while y'all watch us react to stuff. They so, be doing yeah. their own um, ninja moves and whatnot. You know, they be getting down to the Tybo VHS trying to lose weight. Right. <laughs> That's what I need uh, to what do. What you trying to do? You trying to call our viewers fat or something? No. Too much they trying to lose weight. Shit, you. everybody trying to lose weight. I just said I need to be losing weight. Hell. Mm -mm -mm. You don't know that. They might be trying to gain weight. Okay, maybe you getting down to the Tybo uh, tape trying to gain weight. Hell, I don't know how you do that, but go ahead. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, guys, uh, this is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer. My lovely white Jenna Lee on the one say, I'm like, I'm down. And we <laughs> see the reactions. <laughs> oh, I'll catch you, you guys on the next reaction to TMNT 2003. <laughs> <laughs> With the sounds that I like again. I'm like, I'm down. <laughs> Go turn this off. I can't even talk to you though. <laughs>